I want to show you how you can manage build to order projects in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We'll be looking at project structure, how we can set up tasks and subtasks. We'll be looking at planning lines, the detail of the projects. I'm also going to show you assemblies in a project where I can use a standard assembly, but also a customized assembly. We'll look at sales invoicing, we'll look at project posting journals, and also the work in progress. So let's get started. So I'm logged in to Business Central as a project manager. This is my role center. This is the standard role center. And I've got information about projects in Business Central. What I like here is down in the left-hand corner, I've got my projects. These are the projects that I'm focused on and it gives me easy access to them. So let's take a look at this. This is the project that we'll be working with today. I've got different tasks of different natures and we'll take a look at that. First of all, let's look at the billing section. I've got a billing schedule already set up so I can bill my customer as I progress through the project. You can see that schedule right here. Further down, I've got the cost of the project. Let's take a look at the planning lines. These are the planning lines for this particular task. On this task, I've got two assemblies. These assemblies are set up here. I'm gonna have a style one pump and a style two pump. The style one pump, I'm gonna assemble just as is, as I normally would do it. And the second one, I'm gonna customize that. So when I put this in the project, I said I've got a quantity of five and also the quantity to assemble of five. So what this does is Business Central is automatically gonna create those assemblies so I can manage them from there. So let's take a look at it. This is the list of my current assemblies. The bottom two here were just created by the project that I just showed you. So let's open them up. This is my standard assembly in Business Central. I've got different components. In order to complete the project, I will assemble this item here. I've got five of them. And then I'm gonna close it to the project and I'll be done. The second order here, let's take a look at that. This is the same standard assembly, but what I can do is I can change it. For example, if I wanna change the quantity, I can change the quantity of the component items here. I'm gonna do that. I can also add an item or take an item out if I want to. So let's add an item here. I've got this item from my inventory. I'm gonna add it to this particular assembly. This will be a new version of this particular assembly that I'm gonna include in the project. So I'm gonna add four per unit. I've got five of these units. So I'm done here. I'm gonna save this. This is gonna be a different assembly. It's gonna have a different cost. Let's take a look at these other tasks. I've got a task here where I'm taking other items from my inventory to include in this particular project. You can see those right here. I've got inventory items here, and I've got a quantity in the cost. And here's another plan line. For this particular task, I'm gonna subcontract this out. I'm gonna create a PO. The cost of the PO will end up in the project. Next, let's take a look at the sales invoicing. This is easy to do in Business Central. I'm back in the project and here's my billing schedule. I'm gonna go back and bill the first down payment. I'll go into the planning lines here, and it's easy to do. This is the information that I need. I can scroll over to the right and see the amount that's gonna be invoiced. It's right here, it's $1,000. And all I need to do is create a sales invoice. So that's done, let's take a look at the invoice. Here's the sales invoice here. It hasn't been posted, it's just been created. I can delete it from here or I can go ahead, send it out to the customer and post it, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and post that and I'm done. And I can now see on my project schedule that I've invoiced that down payment, so I'm ready to go. Let's take a look at posting some of the costs here. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, the best way to support us and to help others find this content is to subscribe to our channel activate the notifications, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for helping us grow this channel. Let's get back to the demonstration. I'm gonna generate and post a couple of different types of project posting journals. One is gonna be for the two assemblies I created. I'm gonna post those. I'm also gonna post the inventory items I took out of my inventory and put into the project. And then we're gonna process the PO to the subcontractor. So let's get started. To create a posting journal, I'll go into the detail line. 
And these are the assemblies. And let's go ahead and create a project journal. And right from here, I can go and post that. And I'm going to go ahead and post a second line. Create the project journal. Then I'll go ahead and post it. But when I go ahead and do that, I see I've got an insufficient quantity for some of the items on that assembly. This is easy to fix. I'll run a quick planning worksheet to get that information in an MRP process and create the purchase orders and receive those. And these are the items I need to complete those final assemblies. So I'm going to go ahead and order these. I'll select the ones I want to create and I'll carry out the action messages. This will create the purchase orders. Then I'll go ahead and receive those in and then post that journal. Here's one of the purchase orders here. I'm just going to go ahead and post that. And here's a second purchase order. I'm going to go ahead and receive that as well. And I'm done with that. I can go back into the planning line and open the project journal. It's got this item here. I'll go ahead and post it. The next thing to do is create a project journal for the additional items I added into this particular project. That's also easy to do. I'll go down here, open up the planning line, create project journal lines. Here's my project journal for those two items. I can go ahead and post them. It'll take it out of inventory and put the cost into the project. And we're done. Next, let's see how I use the purchase order to bring an additional cost related to a subcontract that I had for this particular project. I put this purchase quote together when I was planning this project and presenting it to my customer. My customer obviously wants to go ahead with it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into an order and then I'm going to receive it. Now this purchase quote is already assigned to the project and to the task within the project and also a specific line item in the detail. You can see that right here. I'm going to go ahead and make an order of this. Here's an order right here. I'm going to go ahead and receive this and invoice it. This cost will then go into the project. So I'm done with the cost on this project. The project's complete. I need to do some additional billing. Next, let's take a look at calculating the work in progress. I can do this at any time in the life of the project. At the bottom of the project page is a work in process summary. I can calculate it, recognize it, and then post it to the general ledger. So right now I've done no calculation. It's easy to do. All I need to do is go up to WIP, calculate the WIP. It will go ahead and calculate the WIP based on the criteria I set up for this particular project. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate it. And you can see the calculation right here. The next thing to do is I can move this to the general ledger on a periodic basis if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to post to the GL. And I'm done. And that was a quick view on how to manage a build-to-order project within Dynamics 365 Business Central. It's really quite easy to do. We looked at the project structure and the detail, how we can handle custom assemblies in that project, and then also do the accounting associated with it, including sending invoices to customers.